Hi there, today to make the most of our math block, I wanna show you an example lesson you can use for addition. We're gonna use what we already know about dominoes and start connecting and building our understanding of addition. For whole group, we'll start with a literature read aloud and then build onto our domino quick image. With our domino quick image, we'll take it a step further and build in those number sentences to really reinforce that idea of addition and what that looks like. For small group, I'll show you an activity and the materials that you'll need for that. And then for centers, I'll show you two examples of how you can use dominoes in your centers to help engage students in addition. So let's get started. For our math whole group, I'll show you the materials that we'll be using. We have our domino edition read aloud book. We have our larger board for Domino Quick Image that we'll be using as our whole group. Students will have their own smaller card in front of them. For the larger card, we will be using magnetic circles and students for their smaller one, they have their own colored chips. You can do this, each student can have their own or they can partner up. And then you'll need the Domino Quick Image cards. So let me show you how we'll use them reading through domino addition, we want to build that connection between the arrangement and the number sentence. So I saw three at the top, zero at the bottom, that's three. Or I saw two and one is three. And we want to build that connection to when we're playing with our quick image cards. So we quickly show them the arrangement, hide it, then students want to use their counters to build what they saw on the arrangement card and they're holding on to how they saw it. How did you see that six? I saw three and three, and they can double check it. Who can come up to build it on our model card? So you come up, I saw three, one, two, three, just like that. And I saw three on the other side. One, two, three. Just like in the book, we want to draw our addition sentence to match the arrangement. We saw three on one side and three on the other side. That equals three, four, five, six. We'll do one more domino quick arrangement and then go back to reading through our book, really drawing those connections between seeing the arrangement and the number sentence and back and forth between the book and our quick images. Now let me show you what we'll do for small groups. Here is our math small group bin. Inside we have these foam dominoes. I'm going to give each student one of those. We have a number line one to 10, a dry erase board and number dice. These dice go from one to 10. So let me put this together and show you how we use these. Every student is going to pick a domino They'll keep it beside their whiteboard and their marker. We're going to roll. I got three. Since I don't have three, I'm not going to put my domino up, but the person that has three is going to look at theirs. They see two and one equals three. So they'll come up and put it on the number line. Each of the students are going to write their number sentence that match. Two plus one equals three and then we'll roll and keep playing until each of the students have put their domino on the number line. If you have extra time at the end, these mini dominoes are perfect to play. You can give each student or a partner one of the dice that go to 10 and their own set of small dominoes and they can play with a partner. They wanna roll and find the domino that matches and record the matching number sentence. Now let me grab the bin that we'll be using for our math centers. Here are two activities that you could put out for centers. The first one are these domino addition. For the addition dominoes, it has the answer on one side and the equation that you're solving on the other. So I see eight plus eight equals 16. I wanna match up that 16. Three plus four, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm for seven. And then you just match it up. Six plus six is 12. And you keep going until you find all the dominoes. And the second one is domino math around the room. For the addition cards, you'll hang them around the room. Students will find the cards, look for the letter and find the matching letter on the recording sheet. So I see three, 
one, two, three, plus four, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, equals seven. And they wanna continue hunting around the room for all of the cards. I hope you were able to find some activities and materials that you can use in your classroom to help build that connection of dominoes to addition with your students. I will link below any of the materials and the activities that I used in this video today. So be sure to check there for any links that you might need and stay tuned for more videos to make the most of our math block.